When you think of dressing up concrete with a decorative surface resembling brick, stone, or tile, you might think stamped concrete. But did you know that you can achieve a very similar effect with stenciling and often with less time and effort? Disposable paper stencils are utilized to impart the pattern. They mask off the underlying surface and leave behind realistic looking mortar joints. A dry shake color hardener is applied to the exposed concrete before the stencil is removed. The result is the appearance of individual stones or bricks that have been mortared together. Stenciling can be done in either freshly placed concrete or an existing concrete that has been covered by an overlay. Just how is it done? Well, after crews place the concrete, they screed, float, and edge the slab as usual. Then uncoil and place the stencils on the surface and the line. While the concrete is still wet, the stencil is plastered to the surface with a special stencil roller. Workers then use a pair of scissors to trim the stencil. Immediately after stencil application, the next step is to hand broadcast color hardener onto the surface. With stone or brick stencil patterns, a texture roller or seamless texture skins will give the surface a more realistic, slightly roughened profile. Next, a liquid or powdered release agent is applied to the surface. Finally, it's time to remove the stencils, and that's really when the effect comes to life. The day after the pour, crews can clean off the release agent, saw cut the control joints, and seal the slab surface.